two satellites decide to get married. The wedding wasn't all that, but the reception was incredible. I'm Mo, and I'm trapped in Fallout. I've been trying to find my way out of this game, but you know what? I thought why not spend time actually just enjoying the game. So, I find myself in front of the Museum of Technology. We're going to go inside and actually just have fun for once. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I've got a new friend. Dog meat. I wish I could name him to something a bit different. I'm pretty sure this place is going to be inhabited by some really big bad boys, so... I have my trusty shotgun. And look at that. Right. I think I saw something up there. There we go. He said he's going to eat my arms with my... Did you say with my duh or did you say when I'm dead? Okay, I forget. Anyway, we're not here to actually kick ass. We're actually here to see some of the exhibits. So let's start with this bad boy. This is the, I think it's called the Key Hawk. It's also known as the Wright Flyer Mark I. It was designed by Orville and Wilbur Wright. It was actually the very first flying vehicle that performed its maiden flight for a mere 12 seconds. I think it covered about a distance of 120 feet. Okay, let's move on. But it looks pretty cool. It's a bit sad that um, this historic piece is now laying on the floor. Let's move on. So here's another cool piece. This is known as a stealth boy. So I haven't used one yet in the game, although I've collected a few of them. It's called the Robco Stealth Boy, and it was credited and developed by someone called Robert Mayflower. This is actually a pretty cool thing. When you use it, it reflects the light from one side of your body to the other, effectively making you invisible. Okay, that was pretty cool. Let's move on. So given that we've cleared this area, I think I'm going to move up this set of stairs and let's go down that hallway over there. Ah, oh, cool, a flag. So let me turn my light on. So this flag was, I think it was recovered from a USS Navy missile cruiser. I don't know much more about it other than that, but uh, again, it's a bit of a shame that it's falling apart. I can only imagine what were in these frames. Whoever put them up probably needed to use a, a leveler. Okay, let's move on. Okay, haul of today. So what's down? Well, we're not going to go down there today. Let's skip this bit then. And, ah, we have another one here. More stuff, boys. Thank you. Let's carry on down this way. So here we have a vault tour. Oh, that sounds pretty neat. You to our new huh. Oh wait, are we in danger? Is this just a simulation? What do you think, boy? Are we in danger? I'll take that as a no. I put my gun away. Ooh, the door opened automatically. Let's carry on. Nothing seems to be happening. Well, that's interesting. There's blood and because light is reflecting off it, it looks like there's actually a decent amount of blood here. I wonder if this is simulating what Volte actually looks like. Oh, look at that. A handprint. Looks like someone was here recently. Ah, what's this? An exhibit. Ah, we can interact with it. Did you say floor suck cleaning system? What, what is a floor sucking cleaning system? I bet he was part of the floor sucking cleaning system. And look at the physics on that. Okay, I won't desecrate this corp. Okay, let's carry on. We have another exhibit here as well. So what is this? An entertainer tron room. I guess they invented the uh, the PowerPoint slide. Okay, that totally seems useful. Imagine that. You come into a vault thinking you're going to be protected from the outside world and you're sold these ideas of next-gen entertainment system and floor-sucking system. And in the end, what you find is a dude with a broom and a PowerPoint slide. Right, okay. I'm pretty happy in the wasteland. Concerns about security? Our eye on you cameras 
enable the vault leader to watch your every move. The vault leader is watching us on camera. Hey look, it's Big Brother. There we go. And that looks like that's the end of the vault tour. It looks like we've actually made it to the top now. So what's behind door number two? Museum of Technology West Wing. Okay, so what is in here? Ah, I know what this is. This is a vertibird. So this thing is a vertical takeoff plane craft. And if I remember right, it could be armed with like some pretty heavy weapons. In fact, it looks like that might be a minigun. That's interesting. Okay, let's carry on. Ooh, what is that? Okay, let's take care of these guys first. There's someone up there. Is that all of them? Nope, one more left somewhere. Okay, with that out of the way, let's have a look at this bad boy. So this particular thing, let's go a bit up so we can get a better view of this. So this particular thing was the Delta 9 rocket. It was the very first manned rocket and it was also the last of its kind to actually go to the moon. It was used for, I think, I can't remember, I think it was used for about 15 years uh, before it was converted into more of a military instrument. In fact, some of its sections were replaced with military components that effectively turned it into somewhat of a warhead. Cool, let's carry on. So I'm going to go all the way down and I think there was an exit over there. So I'm going to go through this exit and see what's the next exhibit it leads me to. Ah, interesting. Wow, this gun has a pretty good range, doesn't it? Wow, he actually knocked that guy out. Good boy. Right, so that looks like a Mustang. That looks pretty neat, actually. Um, I don't know much about it, but that looks really cool. Now here, this is actually a really cool thing as well. This is known as the Virgo 2 Lunar Lander. It was the very first man lander that actually touched down on the moon. I can't remember who the crewmates were exactly, but from memory, I think it were Captain Richard, Captain Mark and Captain Michael. That looks pretty neat. The interesting thing about this is that it was taken to the moon and left there. So I wonder how it got here. Looking at the satellite, Reminds me of something. Two satellites decide to get married. The wedding wasn't all that, but the reception was incredible. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, what is this? This looks like a planetarium. Oh, I, let me sit down for this. This actually looks quite nice. Ah, look at that. I can, I can go to sleep here actually. I love going to planetariums. And look, in right fashion, got some guys that are disturbing the party. And with that, they go down. Right, let's go back and let's listen to this again. Yes, I do have a hunger for knowledge. Uh, I don't have time for a journey. Sit back, relax, and free yourself from the bonds of our planet as we take off for the stars. Hey man, I'm on another level entirely. I'm trapped in the game. Stars. 
Okay, I think this thing's broken. So if I come back out... Ah, uh, looks like another Mustang's been demolished. And it looks like we've come back full circle. Okay, I was expecting this museum to be a little bit bigger. Turns out it was a lot tinier. Oh well. Well, I enjoyed my stay here. Not much to be gained from a free visit to a museum. It was pretty cool. Got to see the Delta Knight rocket. Got to see a Mustang. The Virgo 2 lunar lander. And a planetarium. It's actually been pretty good having dog meat with me. The enemies don't seem to aim at me as much as they used to. Which is quite nice. And just like my boy who's chilling, I think I'm going to chill here for a bit. Given I'm not looking for a way out, I might as well. Yep, me too. I'm hungry. Let's go get a bite to eat. Now where was the bloody exit? Was it behind this door? 